Welcome to the AARC Sputum Bowl 2014 edition. My name is David Panslow and I am a member of the Sputum Bowl committee. Last year the committee moved to a bracket system for pairing teams. This presentation explains how this system works. While the bracket may look complicated, it is actually very easy to read. Step number one, who does my team play? Let's assume your team is Sputilicious, which sounds like a combination of sputum and delicious. Yum! Opposite your team is the Peep Show, which of course would be your opponent. Step number two, what time does my team play? The time of your game is listed between the two teams. You must be on time or risk forfeiting the game. The number for each game is also listed. In this example, for game one, you would play at 10.45. Step number three, what happens when my team wins? So in this example, Sputilicious has defeated Peep Show, yay, and would advance to the next round and play the winner of game two at 1.45 p.m. Let's say Dead Space beats the Pink Puffers, so they would play Sputilicious in this game. Step number four. What happens when my team loses? If you were on the Peep Show team and lost game one, you would drop down to the loser's bracket. Peep Show would be placed on the L1 line and play the losing team from game two, who would be placed on the L2 line. Let's say the Pink Puffers lost game two, so they would play the Peep Show at 12.45 p.m. Which teams will make it to the finals? There will be four practitioner teams and four student teams which will play for the national championships in their respective divisions. Always remember the prime directive of Sputum Bowl is to have fun. If you have any questions, contact me at this email. Look forward to seeing you in Vegas.